I'm gonna teach you how to properly perform the deadlift. And we're gonna do it in just a few easy steps. So first things first, we need to get you positioned uh, next to the barbell so you're nice and close. The barbell's not gonna roll, you are gonna move to the barbell. So stand so close that your shins are about one inch away from the bar. Good. And your heels are right underneath your hips. So it's a relatively narrow stance. And make sure not to roll the bar from here out, okay? Now with your knees straight-ish, reach down and grab the bar so your hands are just outside your shins. Very good, hips are high right now, but that's okay. Next step is to bend your knees until your shins touch the bar. Good, so now your hips are right where they need to be. You don't need to move them up or down from here. Very important step here is to squeeze your back like you're trying to make your chest point straight ahead. Your hips are gonna stay at this height. And what I'm looking for from the side is that the crease of the armpit is directly over the barbell, okay? So no guesswork involved here. Now, take a big breath in, and you're gonna press into the floor to move the bar up your legs. Good. To set it down, bend at the hips first, and then when the bar passes your knees, bend your knees. Good, for the very first time you do deadlifts, it's good to take a step away from the bar and then reapproach it so that you get used to being consistent with where you are relative to the barbell. That's very, very important because the deadlift can go well or go not very well depending on how well you set up. We're gonna do two more reps. I'll have you step away from the barbell each time for these next two reps. But moving forward beyond that, you'll actually stay on the bar. So go ahead and establish your stance again. We're looking for shins one inch away from the bar. Your toe angle is very slight. It's about 15 degrees. Like if we were looking at the face of a clock, we'd be at 11 and one, okay? So shins look good. Your heels are right underneath your hips, which is perfect. So straight knees for now, reach down and grab the bar outside your shins. Bend your knees until your shins touch. Good, your hip height's gonna stay right there. Now squeeze your back so your chest comes up. That looks great. Armpit is right over the barbell. Take a big breath in, drag the bar up your legs, hold your air, bend your hips, and bend your knees. On this next one, when you bring the bar back down to the floor, you can let gravity dictate the pace a little more. It doesn't have to be as slow. Okay, so stance. That looks good. Hands on the bar, go ahead and grip it. Shins to the bar, chest up. Now press into the floor like a leg press. Drag the bar up your legs, set it down, hips and then knees. Good. And it's okay to make some noise when you bring the bar back down to the floor. It's not technically part of the lift and it's not worth going so slow that you end up rounding your back all the way down to the floor, okay? So now we'll do another set of five. You can stay on the bar the whole time. However, if the bar ends up too far forward or too far back relative to the middle of your foot, we're gonna reset. Very, very important that the bar starts in the same place over the middle of your foot for every single rep. Okay, so let's, let's have a good start here. Shins one inch away from the bar. Toe angle looks good. Reach down and grab the bar. Shins to the bar. Chest up. Leg press the floor. Right down. Good. So position here over his midfoot looks great. So we can re-squeeze and drag. Good. Down from the hips. Nice. And always make sure you keep your knees out of the way on the way down. Drag. Good. Back down. He starts the deadlift by pressing into the floor. That's what makes the bar move, all right? So he's gonna feel his whole weight through his whole foot pressing into the floor. Good, hips first and then knees, nice. Let's finish up with one more set of three here. I'm gonna talk through some finer points, all right? Um, you can hold onto the bar the whole time, but I want you to show us a really good lockout at the top of this first one. Okay, so that's your stance. Let's go hands. Shins, I want you to notice here that his arms are straight. If your elbows are bending, your grip may be too narrow. Okay, so now chest and drag. Good, at the top, we're looking for straight arms, always. Very importantly though, we're looking for straight hips and straight knees. So both of these big joints are in full, full extension. And from the side, his shoulders are over his hips and his shoulders are behind the bar. So he's standing up nice and tall. Okay, go ahead and bring it back down to the floor. So we're basically skipping ahead to the shin step here. We can shins, chest, press the floor. Good, and down. Let's 
Just do one more. Squeeze the bar off the floor. Very good. Unlock your hips, unlock your knees. So in addition to the squat, the deadlift is the lift to train your back. And by train, I mean make it stronger. So if you care about your back being useful for anything else that you want to do outside the gym, train the deadlift. To learn how to squat, bench press, and press, click on the links up here.